Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's question is if a milk production for a breed A averages 12,000 pounds and for breed B 18,000 pounds and F1 hybrids cross of A and B is 16,000 pounds what is the percent of the hybrid vigor? And before I will explain you how to solve this problem let me first show you this picture which is classical representation of the hybrid vigor when we have one parrot which represent one inbred line A, another parent which represent another line B, which is also inbred, and when we cross these two parents, we are going to get a progeny which is going to be much bigger than this two inbred line, and we see here inbreeding depression, but in the progeny we see that progeny is much bigger. So this difference in size we attribute to hybrid vigor, which is a result of the heterosis. Heterosis hybrid vigor or outbreeding enhancement is the improved or increased function of any biological quality in a hybrid offspring. An offspring is heterotic if its traits are enhanced as a result of mixing of the genetic contributions of its parents. But this is not always the case. Sometimes we can see different picture. Take a look here, for example. Take a look. This parent 1 and P stand for the phenotype or in our case performance. So here is the performance of parent 1. Here is the performance of the parent 2. And P, P double bar stand for the mean of the performance of the parents and P bar F1 stand for the performance bar means average performance of F1 generation and the difference between mean performance of the parental generation which is P P double bar and mean of the F1 generation we call is due to hybrid vigor. And here's another variant which is different from what uh, we see on this picture, which I would say classical representation of the hybrid vigor, but not always the case. Take a look. Here is the performance of parent 1, mean performance of the inbred line of the parent 1, and here is mean of the performance of the inbred line 2. So you should have to understand that we are not talking about just two parents. This is line, line of the uh, inbred line, say A, inbred line B. And mean performance of this two inbred line would be here. So P, P, double bar. The progeny, which is F1 generation and mean performance of this progeny, let's say would be here and hybrid vigor is the same like we see in this uh, variant. So hybrid vigor is the same, but this time it's going to be smaller than in inbred line 2 or B. But you see still uh, performance of the F1 generation is much better than performance of the inbred line 1 or A, but again not greater than performance of the inbred line 2. So this also can be a case. Now you are ready for calculations and we are going to use this formula in order to do our calculations. So hybrid vigor which we measure as percent would be mean performance of the F1 generation minus mean performance of the parents divided by the mean performance of the parents times 100. Now let's return to our problem. So what we see is that parent A in bread line average performance is 12,000 pounds of milk. So according to our formula this is going to be P, P 
one bar performance mean performance of the parent one plus mean performance of the parent two. How to find mean of the parents? We have to add these performances and divide by two. This is how we are going to find a mean. So in our case, 12,000 plus 18,000 would be 30,000 and divided by two is going to be 15,000. So let's put 15,000 here. This is going to be mean performance of the parents. Or on our graph, this is going to be P, P and double bar. What we have found, we have found this part of our formula. So this number represent this part of the formula. Now take a look, mean of the F1 generation is given to us. This is result of the cross in bread line A and B. And this is this part of the formula. And we know that this is 16,000. Hybrid figure would equal to P bar F1, mean of the performance of the F1 generation, which is 16,000 minus mean performance of the parents which we have found is equal to 15,000. So minus 15,000 and divided by mean performance of the parents again, 15,000. So divided by 15,000 times 100. So this is going to be 6.7% and Again, what we have found, we have found hybrid vigor. And let's take a look. Hybrid vigor is going to be difference between mean performance of the parents and mean performance of the F1 generation. And we express it as a percentage. So hybrid vigor 6.7% means increase of the mean of the F1 population in performance in comparison with the mean of the performance of the parents. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.